Good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime Poetry with Lori. I'm Lori and I am a teen librarian at Manlius Library in Central New York. And today I'm going to read to you from Outside the Box, a book of poems by best-selling author Karma Wilson. It's a book of children's poetry, but I think it's something that we can all relate to. I'm going to start with Garage Band. It's also an illustrated book of poetry. Garage Band. We got ourselves a rake to strum, a big old can that we can drum, a sprinkler for a microphone, a whole band we can call our own. We got the beat, we rock and roll, we hate to brag, but we got soul. Introducing our super stupendous, astounding, tremendous, amaze you, rock you, daze you, shock you, one of a kind, blow your mind garage band. Now all we need is a few million fans. This next one is called Alien Under My Bed. I mostly hope you can't relate to this one. There's an alien under my bed. It's hairy and scary and green. It's ugly for sure. It's all covered with fur. I'll bet you it's vicious and mean. I know that it's not very big, but it's dangerous all the same. There's more on the way. They're coming to stay and insert their probes in our brains. There's an alien under my bed, so I pointed it out to my dad. He just shook his head and laughed and then said, that's just an old sandwich gone bad. These next two go together. The first one is called Shades of Grey. The shadow of trees, the clouds in the sky, the wings of a wren as she flutters on by. The face of the moon as he watches the night. Not quite black, but not quite white. The hue of the world when the sun slips away. Beautiful shades of gray. Followed, of course, by sunrise. Yellow streams, golden beams, dripping honey colored light, shooing away the dark of night. Globe on fire, raising, rising higher, Beaming, gleaming, rays so bright, shooing away the dark of night. Morning's begun, here's the sun, with dazzling glow the day ignites, shooing away the dark of night. And that's sunrise. And finally, kite flying. I flew a kite down by the sea, until that is, the kite flew me. It tugged me high into the sky. I held on tight and learned to fly. I felt so free, so feather light, flying the world, just me and kite. And there's an illustration that goes with that one. And this has been Outside the Box from A Book of Poems by Karma Wilson. I hope that you enjoyed today's lunchtime poetry. Next week will be my last week for lunchtime poetry. Until that is April. We'll be back again in April when I'll be doing my daily poetry at lunchtime. But you can find me here on next Friday at noon on our YouTube channel. And I'll have a special collection of poems for you then. And as always, you can go back and watch any of the lunchtime poetry that we've done. I have very much enjoyed it. I hope that you have as well. If you are a teen in the Teen Manliest Library Summer Reading Program, your secret code today is BOTTLE, capital B-O-T-T-L-E. Head over to your account and enter that word to complete today's activity on the Lunchtime Poetry Mission. Um, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week for our last Lunchtime Poetry for a while. Happy reading. And now I have some programming notes for you for what's coming up. As fun as it's been, my summer virtual programming, Middle Grade Monday, Teen Book Tuesday, Create with Lori, and Lunchtime Poetry will come to an end the week of August 31st. So the week leading up to Labor Day will be the last week of summer programming. I'll be taking a couple weeks off from programming starting the Labor Day weekend. That's to give me some planning time and also to give you all some time to settle into new and different fall and back to school schedules. 
But never fear, I will be back with virtual programming beginning the week of September 21st. Some of the programming is gonna stay the same. Some of it's gonna change a little bit. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Middle Grade Monday is coming back, Mondays at four. It will focus entirely on middle grade books, primarily grades four to seven. I'm taking the craft part out, more on that in just a minute. Teen Book Tuesday will start up again, just as it's been, maybe even better. Tuesdays at four here on the YouTube channel. It'll continue to be a source for new and fantastic book suggestions and other bookish news from the teen room. For example, we just got in the audiobook of Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. If you're a Hunger Games fan, this is the fourth book in the series, which is actually a prequel, and I talk about it in a previous Teen Book Tuesday. We also just got Midnight Sun, the Twilight Saga from Edward's point of view. This one has a little bit of a wait list, so get yourself over to our website and put a hold on it so you can get your copy. And don't forget, we have several teen Kindles. These are loaded, preloaded, with lots and lots of great young adult books and audiobooks and some games and other apps. So don't forget that those are available for you to call and request for curbside service. I have a new program starting on Thursday, September 24th. It's called Take and Make, and it's for teens and tweens ages 10 and up. It'll post every Thursday at 4 p.m. on YouTube. It's going to replace Create with Lori. So it'll be crafts and art activities, but you'll be able to register for a kit. Come and get it via our curbside service, and then craft, paint, sew. In other words, make art with me, but at your convenience. The kits will be limited in number and available until they're gone. The program will be pre-recorded and available at any time after posting. And the kits will include everything you need to make the project, with the exception of some common household items like scissors, pens and pencils, and occasionally some glue. Lunchtime Poetry is taking a hiatus, but never fear, it will be back for National Poetry Month in April, and maybe even for some special occasions between now and then. And looking forward to later in the fall, I do have some new things I'm working on for October and November. First Fridays will be a monthly program starting in October with something different every month for teens and tweens, or anyone really, maybe a scavenger hunt or an escape experience or a trivia contest. I'll present it via YouTube the first Friday of every month at 9 a.m. So stay tuned for details soon about the first, first Friday. Teen trivia will start on October 7th. It's going to be every other Wednesday night at 7.30 on Facebook Live using Kahoot. You'll be able to compete individually or on teams for prize packs that you can pick up via our curbside service. And then in November, I know that's a long way away, but starting November 1st, Monday in a mug. So alternate evenings, 7.30 on Facebook Live. I will show teens or anyone how to make things in a mug using basic ingredients and a microwave. I'll provide a list of ingredients ahead of time and it'll be posted on our calendar. So watch for details about that. I think we're gonna start with cake in a mug. In addition to my programming, Miss Wendy, of course, has a great lineup of programming for the younger set, and there's lots coming for adults as well, so stay tuned for that. We're also working on some different resources to help out with the challenges this new school year will bring for everyone. So stay tuned for more announcements about that. In the meantime, remember to take advantage of our curbside service. You can reserve and check out books, audiobooks, movies, even binge boxes, and so much more. Visit our website at manliestlibrary.org for more details and to make a curbside appointment. I hope you've found some small pleasure in the programming we've offered this summer. Enjoy the rest of your August. If you have any questions or comments about any of this, or suggestions for future programs or services that we could provide, please send me an email at lfinger at manliestlibrary.org. I'll see you in the fall. Be cool, stay well, and happy reading.